Okay, finally, types, attributes, and each of the attributes has what I'll call a value pattern. What can go in it? And so, for example, um, if it's the sex, what can go in the sex attribute? Well, we're going to say, and you can look down in this little table here to see what the value pattern is, sex can be male or female. In our system, we're not going to allow a third value. Um, that's a choice. And now notice the word value that comes in there. When we make these choices, they're value choices. Uh, we're, we're, we're choosing one way of representing the information over another, and by choosing, for example, to have you know, um, transgender, not to have transgender or something like that, to restrict it to male or female, we've made, in a sense, a political choice. And that's the case in all information models, that whether you like it or not, you're making choices, and those choices reflect your values. They reflect what you believe in, what you think about, what you, um, what you, what you, uh, what you want to impress upon the world. Okay, um, so each attribute has a value pattern. Now, the value pattern of the sex, we're going to say, is it can take only two different values, the word M-A-L-E or the word F-E-M-A-L-E. Um, the first name is allowed to be one word. No spaces we're allowing in the first name. Now, notice this is very simple. In all cases, we're making very simple choices about these value patterns. We can make much more complex. Um, uh, we can make much more complex choices. The address, well, let's skip the address for now. The ID, we're going to say, is a sequential number, starting with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Each different person is going to have another number. And you know from our discussions already about IDs why we're doing that. We're doing that so that each person can have a unique identifier, so we can say your person number 300,465,522, and that is distinctly you. And we know that everything grouped around that ID is going to be about you and nobody else. Okay, so first we define those types, then we break the types down into attributes, what each item of that kind has to have, what each person has to have, a name, address, a location, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And then um, we define what the patterns are inside of each of those attributes, what they're allowed to have. For example, if it's a date, then it's only allowed to have years, months, days, right? That's, that, that's how dates work.